So this is a two-step equation, just for the record. If you can solve this equation, then you can solve this equation. Because they're both just two-step equations. A number times x minus a number equals to another number. The only difference is that the, those numbers are less pretty being fractions. But otherwise the same here. We would add 1 and divide by 2. So in this equation, we're going to add 1 eighth and then divide by negative 2 third. So the steps are going to be the same. First, we're going to add 1 eighth to both sides. So in this side, we're just going to get negative 2 third x alone. On the other side, I would recommend to work on that for the margin. So that's the difference. For every step, we're going to have to work a little bit. On the right-hand side, we're going to have 13 over 24 plus 1 8. So the common denominator, 24, will work. 8 to 24, that was multiplication by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. So what we have is 16 over 24. Not always, but it is often useful if we notice that a fraction can be simplified, so the numbers we're dealing with are smaller. This one, both numerator and denominator, are divisible by 8, so let's divide out by that. 16 is 2 times 8, and 24 is 3 times 8. So yeah, in light of the rest of the equation, this is going to be helpful. The result of our first step is that negative 2 third x equals to 2 over 3. So now we're going to divide both sides by negative 2 over 3. So you can see the answer, but let's pretend we haven't. We have x alone here on the left-hand side. For the right-hand side, we have 2 over 3 divided by negative 2 over 3. To divide is to multiply by the reciprocal. And now we get negative 6 over 6, which is negative 1. So x is negative 1. So we think. Let's check. So to check, we're just going to substitute negative 1 into x. So then the left-hand side will become negative 2 over 3 times negative 1 minus 1 over 8. Negative 2 over 3 times negative 1 is just 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3 minus 1 over 8. The common denominator is 24. 3 to 24, that was a multiplication by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. And 8 to 24, that was multiplication by 3. And 1 times 3 is 3. So we have 16 minus 3 in the numerator and 24 in the denominator. So the left-hand side is 13 over 24. Well, that is the right-hand side as well. So our solution, x equals negative 1, is correct. Thank you for watching.